Hi, I've been asked to talk to you today about the top five tips for teaching the new CCNA. Now these are very simple. Number one, decide what's right for your students. Choose the most appropriate curriculum. We've got two CCNA curriculums, Exploration, Discovery. Exploration has a modular structure, integrates into your learning materials, and is for advanced students, undergraduates, those on a degree programme. Discovery is the other CCNA offer. That's for students who need to learn in a step-by-step -step manner. It's highly job-related. So these students will get knowledge in a step-by-step -step manner. At the end of both courses, they can take a CCNA certification if they wish to. And they have job-ready skills throughout those courses. So that's tip number one. Tip number two, go to Academy Connection. And before you log in, look at that login page and you'll see some really nice things. There's that video that tells you about what's in the new curriculum. Now, you know about that yourself, but show it to your friends, show it to students, show it to potential sponsors. It's a very nice way of encapsulating what's going on. There's also videos for NetSpace and there's videos that tell you about the actual curriculum content, a little brief overview. That's before you log in. Tip two. Tip three is go to login and then on your home page on the left hand side you'll see some links. The most important of these links I think is the Cisco Learning Institute link. That takes you to some teaching and learning advice and guidance for the new curriculum. They're called ICGs, Instructor Course Guides. It's an interactive learning tool. You can go in at any time, just in time learning. You can pick up the facts you need just before you, you need them. Very, very useful. Lots of good advice, lots of other examples, some video clips, things that are useful to you. Okay, my next tip is another very obvious place to look. Go to the tools section on Academy Connection after you've logged in. And there, I recommend you look for two things. One is to look for the uh, advice and guidance on the Eagle server if you're doing exploration or Discovery server if you're doing discovery. Go through to those, download those two servers, you need to download them. They will take some time, so if you're in a poor bandwidth connection, do it overnight. If you have a real problem, then contact Cisco and we'll find a way of getting that, that disk. And my final little tip is to, on the tools page, make sure you've got Packet Tracer. Because Packet Tracer 4.11 is the latest version. And Packet Tracer is the best network learning tool I've come across so far. So it has five little tips for you. I've recorded this really quickly. I want you to think about those five tips and tell me what you think. Okay, thank you for listening to me. Goodbye.